Hello, everybody. Sorry. Welcome to the Bellhopper McCulloch YouTube channel. There's Drew. And uh, we actually started working and forgot to film. And I just stopped and I looked at Andrew and I said, we really ought to be filming this, but we haven't been. So I'm going to try to catch you up on what we're doing right quick, and you'll just have to imagine it, okay? So hopefully the back of the camera lens ain't too bad. All right. Here we go. This is Andrew, one of Andrew's cases. This hole right here is messed up really bad. So bad that the helicoil wouldn't fit in it, and I didn't want to go to a six. So what I've done is I've took a 1764 drill bit, and we rammed her through the hole. Then we took a 8 by 125 tap in the electronic tapping device. Use at your own risk. And I've run it through there. Now, I went and cut off an 8 by 125 bolt, and we have put it in our uh, precision bolt cutoff machine. If you don't have one of these, you can use a hacksaw on a file to do this. I, ain't, I mean, I've done it before. But uh, what we're doing is uh, back around. What we're going to do is we got the 8 by 125 bolt fit in the hole. Now we're going to uh, face off the end of this bolt. We're going to drill and tap it to 5 by 5.8. 5 by M5 by 0.8. I can't explain it sometimes. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. So I've already faced it off a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to really worry about chaffering it. Might put Andrew over here in the corner filming so it'd be easier to let's put it in the to low profile mode. About right there. Alright, we're gonna go back in yonder. There you go. Set it like right here. And there you go. You might be able can you see a little better that way? Yeah. Alright. Right there we can kind of see. Alright. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that chuck out of there right quick. I'm gonna throw this center drill in here. I'll probably be going way too fast, but we're gonna do it anyway. Because it'll be alright. <laughs> I say 1164. Yeah. See if, see if there's one in that bunch over there. Huh? 1164, 1964. 1164. It says. Huh? What we're going to do is we're going to drill 1164 hole with this giant hand drill I got. <laughs> this is so commonly known as my giant hand drill. Too fast, perfect. <laughs> yeah, too fast, perfect. This is something we're trying to hurry up and eat. We couldn't find out yet. This this was bad. We've got another. We've got another set of holes that's messed up too. So this ain't gonna be all. Get on through there. Get on through there. I bet that's all. Yeah. 
it looked like it was. It looks like it's smoky. You start changing color, you know it's hot. Yeah, we'll let that cool off a minute. <clears throat> All right, five by point eight zero. That's six for one hundred. Yo, I can't see nothing. Yeah, you might as well stop them for a minute. We're going to pause y'all for a minute because I got to check this with the... Ready? Go it going? Yep. All right. Here we are. Hopefully this works and it don't break the top off. But if it does, well, it does. Yeah, it's Let's see if I can find the hook real quick. That's one. Yeah, I'd say that's probably plenty enough. But we only need about yay much. So, give me the chip key. Out of here. Set the chip key back in there. All right. Y'all probably can't see it, but there's threads in there. There's threads in there. All right. Homemade. We're gonna take him over here to the thread insert. To the pan saw. Stuff y'all never get to see. I just have to imagine it. You know what, let me, uh... Put just a little bit of a slot in it so I got something to get a hold of. Sucker's getting warm real fast when the bandsaw blade gets dull. And the bandsaw blade is getting dull because I've been cutting stainless with it. And what does stainless do to a bandsaw blade? It runs it. Mm -hmm. Fast, quick, and in a hurry. Yeah, I see. <clears throat> now that's what we got. Now, I'm going to clean the end of it up right quick. We're going to shoot some green Loctite on it and screw it in there. So, we're going to pause y'all for just a second. All right, we're back. All right. And get some of the never come off juice. The super never come off juice. Known as 680 retaining compound. We're just putting way too much on it. That'll be perfect. Oh, yeah. Now. Looks like it's about flush right there, don't it? Yeah. All right. Give it time to dry. Now, once it dries, yep. we will have a repaired hole. That's probably better than the factory one. Y'all can see what we're working with. Yeah, there's a little bit of wire on there. This is it, what happens. It's close to sticking out the back, isn't it? Yeah. This is what happens to a lot of these pro saws. They get woed out. Bolts get loose. They never get tightened. And then you end up with that. But we fixed the catered it. I had a 394 once. And Jeremy's got it now. He still got it. Yeah. Still got it. It's, it's horrible. Yeah, it's it's, horrible. it's All bad. The All the up. holes are messed up on it. That one they were fixed and messed up again. Yeah. Welded. They welded the hole shut. And they messed them up again. Yeah. The hole for that same bolt hole that holds the pull shard on was probably, I not kid y'all, it's probably that big. Yeah, it was, it was terrible. I don't know how you'd let a hole get that big, but you, they did. They sure did. Ruined. Alright, y'all. These are the holes for the dog that's messed up. 
they're not quite as bad but they're still messed up so we're gonna we were gonna do something else but since we went ahead and started making a video on how to fix threaded holes we figured what the heck why not just go on so we're gonna go ahead and finish filming this video so you get to see us repair these three holes and then we're gonna start on that 330 polling down yonder that y'all probably ain't gonna wanna miss that so just keep an eye on so you get to see major thread repair and minor thread repair. And yes, I stopped the drill before I put it down in there because if the hole's wallered, start the drill a lot of times, it will just go, it will just go straight and follow it. So Andrew hadn't seen that either just a minute ago. I said something about it. That's just, that's the way, that's the way I do it. He knows a lot of little tips and tricks for stuff like it, that. It makes it so much easier, I swear it does. Because you can try to put it down in there and if that hole's boogered up, it will not go yes. like it's supposed to. But if you spin the drill up and just kind of pack it down in there, a lot of times it'll go. Can you see that? Yeah. And yes, y'all, I know these cases are nasty, but I wanted to just try to get them repaired before we cleaned on them. We're fixing them before we clean them. There ain't no point in cleaning them if, if you can't repair them. So. I fixed one of these simple man with a 6 by 100 bolt that I turned into a tap. Yeah, I remember that. Alright. Now them holes are threaded. They're threaded for a for an insert. I know some people are gonna say, I use time certs and I use this and I use that. I use Healy coils first. And if Healy coils don't work, then we go to something else. So, Healy coil first, other stuff second. Well, when you got a lathe, you can make your own thread inserts. <laughs> you like can make our own thread inserts. Like you did, which is good for extreme cases. Well, when you need that custom insert. Yeah. And it's custom with a C. Yeah. Not a K. <laughs> There's a difference, y'all. If you don't know the difference, look it up. <laughs> There's one insert. I know somebody's going to say, well, you make that look really easy because I hear that all the time. You know what? Let me go over here. My little big bigger's getting a little tight, so... It was getting a little tight on there. This is this is relatively cheap, so it's the helical squishing. So they don't work the best. Once you but, put in a few hundred inserts. Yeah, if you put in a bunch of these things, which we do, I actually have a couple of different sets of these. And this is not going to work. Like I said, all these pro saws usually got some stripped bolt holes because they get used. I got to move this thing up. Cause it's hitting the case. You put a bunch of these things in, you learn to put them in, I tell you that. And I still screw them up every once in a while. If you mess one up, best thing to do, take a pick, pull it out, try again. Yep. Go mess some stuff up learning. Trust me. Got it broke out of there. Let me see if I can blow that tab out. I ain't worried about the tab on the other one because it's an open back hole. Reach again in your pocket. Yep. Shrews right in there. Oh, yeah. And that one's hitting the bottom now. When you run the other screw in, it'll break it off. So I ain't gonna worry about that. I'm gonna leave it just like that. When you get done, clean you clean your tap up off your automatic hand tapping machine. 
this this set right here actually come off of Amazon. Back, I don't know what they cost now, but back in the day when I first bought this one, it was like uh, thirty nine dollars, I think. Worth every penny. Worth every penny of it. <clears throat> I, you can tell I've used it a bit, but the cheap latch did break off. But I'm gonna throw this back over here in the in the hole with the rest of the grab the stuff. There you go. There's three. We're gonna have to wash the stuff out of that hole. Yeah, she's going. Yeah, let me. We don't want it to dry up in there. No. And we dang sure don't want to screw a screw in it. Nope. Till the rest of it's dry. Because if we do, that sucker might not come back out of there. Oh yeah. Let's see if it's. Locked in, yep. Not quite. It's a little cool. That might be the reason why. We'll let it. We're just gonna let it sit there and cure while we do some other stuff. But all right, y'all. Thread repair. Well, I'm, that's this is gonna conclude our thread repair video. If you have any questions on thread repair, ask us, and as we uh, run across stuff like that, we'll try to show it. Uh. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video, and we're going to get to work on the 330 pole and see if we can figure out the oil and issue on it. So if you enjoy this, you might want to like it, subscribe, comment, so you can keep up with the crazy things we're doing. And uh, hopefully before long, we might be doing some more filming on the building of the full circle crank. So uh, I'm going to let y'all go so I can get started on this other, and Andrew's going to fiddle with this thing a little bit. and. Uh, We'll see y'all on the next one. So y'all have a good day. Stay safe. Be kind. Treat each other the way you want to be treated. God bless. Remember, Jesus loves you. Bell Hopper out.